In this video, we will learn about the funnel charts. Funnel charts are basically used to represent sales at different stages, different sectors or different segments. Now, for example, if you see at the back end, this is an example given for the funnel chart where I am trying to display the sales done into different segments. For here, if you see there is a consumer, then I have the corporate and the office supplies. So these are the different uh, sectors which are given and the sales are given as 51% the highest sales, second is 30% and the third one is 18%. Now three things you can observe. First one is that the order in which the sales size is going down. Second thing you can observe here the size of the different boxes. If you see the different boxes, the bigger the size, the greater is the sales. If you see the bigger the size, 51% the sales, the smaller size, 81% the sales. Now the third thing you can observe the different colors which are given based on the sectors, the segments or the categories. These are the colors which are given separate colors for separate thing. In a funnel chart, the topmost element is known as the head and the bottom is known as the neck part. So this is nothing but given as a basic funnel chart example. We can create this funnel chart in just 30 seconds. Next is also I'll be showing you how to create an advanced funnel chart. If I go on the next slide, if you see. This is the advanced funnel chart. The same techniques can be used to create this advanced funnel chart. Let us see how do we create it. So first of all, I'll create a new sheet here at the blank sheet at this place. Now what I can do is I can just bring up the sales into this rows field. And second is I'll try to bring this segment into this colors part. So see uh, the different colors, they are separated into this segment wise. And if you see what the color says, the blue color stand, stands for this consumer, second for corporate and the third one stands for the office supplies. Now how do I change the size of this thing? So if you want to change the size, as I said, based on the sales, the size will increase or decrease. So I'll pick up this sales and drop into this size. That's it. Now it looks like funnel, but a very compressed funnel. So you have to click on this drop down, select this entire view and the funnel chart is created. So if you press this presentation mode, that's a funnel chart, but it is empty blank. I want to understand the blue color says what and what is the exact sales done. So I need to put some labels here. So pick up this segment and drop into this labels. I'm getting this labels. I'll put, uh, pick up this sales and drop into this labels part. So you see the exact numbers are given, but I don't want the numbers. I want the in the percentage format. If you want percentage format, you have to remember this quick table calculations. So I'll click on this drop down quick table calculations percentage of total and that's a percentage which is given. It would not be visible that clearly because the font size is very small. If you want to change the font size, click on this drop down, select this format, go to this A alphabet, that's a text which is given, go to pane, select the size as 15 and you see the size has increased. It's working fine. I'll click on this close button and if I press, if I present this in the slideshow mode and if you observe, this is a funnel chart where I can exactly understand the highest sales is done by the consumer segment and that is 51.48. So this is a basic funnel chart. Let us see how do we create an advanced funnel chart. I'm talking about this advanced funnel chart. It is more simpler than that what we have created. So let us see. I'll just create a new sheet. First of all, I'll show you that is the advanced funnel chart. It is based on the ship mode and the sum of sales. So I'll create a new chart and I'll pick up ship mode and drop into this columns. Second is pick up this sales and you can drop into this rows part. So that is nothing but a column chart. I don't want a column chart. So first of all, I'll swipe the fields is again a bar column chart. That's a horizontal one and I'll make into descending order. What I'll do is instead of this column or the bar chart, I'll pick up this area chart itself. So somewhere in the area is entirely filled, but this is very small again in size. Go to this drop down, select this as entire view. So I'm getting a funnel chart, but which is half in the size It's only the positive side. So why positive side? Because if you see that's this axis is nothing but for the sum of sales on the right hand side positive. That means I need to create a negative field where I can show the negative sum of sales also. So how do I create a negative field here? So I'll just click on this sales drop down, create calculated field. And here I'll type the field name as negative sales, negative sales. And before this sales, what I can do is I can just press this minus sign and click on apply, click on OK. So that is the negative sales field which is created. Where do I need to paste? I need to paste here itself before this axis. So for that, I have to pick up and drop into this before sum of sales. So if you see now I've got an entire funnel chart, that's an advanced funnel chart. But I also want to give some labels. What labels I can give the ship mode and the sales. So pick up this ship mode, drop into this label. And if you observe, I've got the labels here. 
on the left hand side i want the labels and on the right hand side i don't want the labels i want the percentage of the sales done so if you see there are two sections which are created for the negative axis i've got the labels this is the negative axis i've got the label that is ship mode but for the sales i don't want the ship mode so if you see on the right hand side there are no labels which are given what labels i want i want the percentage of sales done so pick up the sales drop into this labels now you'll be getting the exact numbers i don't want the numbers percentage click on this drop down quick table calculation percentage of total and now i'm getting the percentage of total itself if you think you want to change the color which is right now the blue color if you want you can just select this option and yellow color if you observe only the right hand side color has changed what about the left hand side so again you have to click on this drop down like this one color and you can choose the color from this place click outside so this is a funnel chart and i can just click on this presentation mode and that's ready i hope you have understood that's all for this video